Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Welcome back also to generic intros for the next several videos, which is a nice improvement from the last few that haven't had any intros. So I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you're all staying safe and things are getting, getting kind of crazy right now. So I hope everyone's doing well and as best as we can. So uh, anyway, we're going to hop right into the video and I will be with you in a second. And it's been a while <laughs> since I've played. Right, we were doing, we were doing tomb stuff. I keep remembering the like Malik thing and everything, but we're ahead of that now, and we are in the tombs. And I just got the sword, or no, am I on the second one? Yeah, I'm in the, I'm in the one. Oh my gosh! Oh, thank you, Rain. Oh my gosh! 17 months! Thank you so much for the tier 1 subscription. I appreciate it. <laughs> despite, despite me having been gone for like two weeks. Freaking long time. I appreciate it. What am I trying to do? We, we successfully helped the rogue assassin droid escape. So we've done two tombs. And now I need to do the third one. Ah, <laughs> poor Zobs. In these times of trial. I know, it's been a mess. Did I... Wait, no. Did I open this? Like, I helped him out, and then did I actually... Did I actually do what I needed to do? Is there like a, did I miss something here? Is there, a, it's been 10 weeks. Uh, double cross, Republic hiring mercenaries. Okay, I do not know. Aww. Like, I'm trying to figure out if there's, like, a key for this, but I guess not. I'm gonna hack... Oh, okay. I'm gonna hack a sarcophagus. Mark Haragnos' gauntlets. And I got a crystal named Sigil. Interesting. Oh, <laughs> great job. The best job. Yeah, no. I think we still have the highest death rate in this country and we're opening back up again most states are opening back up <clears throat> despite increased uh infection rates and plateauing no uh no um no discernible progress in a good way just that you know capitalism must go on and capitalism requires the sacrifice of many to feed the few so here we are Alright, I didn't realize I hadn't gotten into that sarcophagus, honestly. So I've done... Marco Ragnos, Ajunta Paul... Oh, have I done... I think I've done all of them. Yeah, I got the sword here, and I got the, the notes here, and I got... Um, I just finished that. I got Marco Paul or whatever uh, gauntlets. Can I... Wait, why am I... Why do I not have anything equipped? <laughs> why does this happen to me? Hi, Sabi! Welcome! Welcome, welcome. I can't remember... Which lightsaber I had. Was it this one? Nope, I'm not. I wasn't dual wielding. It was a two-handed one. Oh, look at that! But yeah, these are probably um for Sith only. Eh, 
I am kind of curious. Ajunta Paul's blade. I think I would like to use that. It's not a lightsaber, but it's cool. Oh, double bladed double this was my double bladed lightsaber. That's right. Um I just wanna look. Five to twenty eight jank plus eighteen and then Oh dang. Never mind. I mean it's got a better chance of a higher number. But my my lightsaber is better. Unfortunately, <gasps> Lemonzy, hi! Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. We finished with all the tunes except for Naga Sados. So I'm gonna go drop. Uh, I'm gonna go show off how awesome I am. I could probably. I would just break into Naga Sato's um, tomb right now, but I'm gonna do this the proper way. And I'm gonna go show off how awesome I am to the Sith Lord guy. Save, you're right. I'll save when I, uh, well, I guess I could save right here. No big deal. Save, show off. Just in case I, like, get, like, accosted along the way. Also, I gave that one guy a fake sword, which was nice. And he's gonna get in trouble. He thinks he has a Junta Pauls, but he does not. Mm. My game's, like, kind of weird. Like, it's having weird moments. Uthar, yo! Oh ho ho, you think you- th Ah, what is this you bring me? <laughs> it is none other than the sword of a Junta Paul, master. Fool. All the trouble you went through for your deception, and you did not even make an effort to verify the sword's authenticity. Master, what, what do you mean? There is no place for fools amongst the Sith. <laughs> He's like, no! Yeah! Hmm. What a bummer. Greetings, young one. I have found you to be most impressive. Wow, thank you. You are off to an excellent thank beginning. Thank you. Uh, I have the sword of a Junta Paul. Ah, finally, the genuine sword. I knew that this relic would be unearthed in time. I can feel the power flowing through it. Well done. You have impressed me greatly. Go now. You have done well. But you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. I show my true nature by laughing at the death of a rival. Listen, that guy was a jerk. I have found Jorik Ulm, the hermit in the hills. Ah, my old master. Still, unless you bring back something of his, some writings are similar, I am unimpressed. Jorak's fate means nothing to me. I have his writings. I have a tablet. Oh, let me see. It appears my old master was busy studying the writings in one of the tombs. How interesting. I do hope you had to pry this from his dead fingers. You should have killed him. You have impressed me with your worthy act. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. I'm going to avoid talking about the renegade students if I can. Because uh, otherwise, it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, uh, it's an uh-oh. <laughs> if he finds out I was lying. I dealt with the rogue droid in the tombs. Oh, I heard that the droid ran out and blasted off into the sky. Oh, yeah! We tracked it for a short while before it vanished from our scanners. What do you make of that? Oops. Um, I tampered with him. He no longer functions as he did and will not return. It's, it's not, not a lie. I suppose that will have to do. Though I would prefer proof of his destruction. It worked! Still, it shows innovative thinking. I lied! <laughs> It shows innovative self -reality. Listen, listen, hush, hush you. <laughs> Quiet back there! I am. <laughs> you have rid us of a potential nuisance. Oh, wait. Go now. 
You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. I'm gonna turn the volume up for the game a bit, because I noticed last time that it was fairly loud compared to me. So I'm gonna turn myself down a teeny tiny bit and turn the game up. But I, excuse me, I know combat can get really like loud. So if that's a problem, let me know. <laughs> Uh, I know, right? Game Pass, Kari, we best not, uh, we best not let him know how we had to save scum and, uh, cheat <laughs> and have Rain read me the answers. Although, to be fair, I think I only needed help, like, twice. But, uh, but welcome. Welcome back. Um, I kind of want to betray Euthara, honestly. Euthara? Because... Well, I don't know, because me personally takes offense at the idea of, like, the Sith apprentice trying to team up with somebody else powerful to take down her master when I could just freaking, you know, like, that's not the way you're supposed to do things. But, okay, how would a Jedi, how would a Jedi think about this? Would the Jedi try to team up with Uthara and take down the stronger Jedi and then put the lesser one in his place? Oh, that's probably what a Jedi would do. Me. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> um, I suppose I'll tell him about the Renegade students. Ah, the ones I ordered executed for their mutiny. It's done then. It's done. They are gone. Indeed. We checked the caves and found only a couple of bodies. Perhaps the shy. I lied! No, oh, it is just as good, I suppose. The lesson is learned, I believe. You have impressed me enough, by my estimation, to become a Sith in full. Congratulations, young one. You have bested the others quite completely. You have but one final test which you must take, and this requires us to travel to the tomb of Nagasato in the Valley of the Dark Lords. I would advise you to be rested and equipped before we leave. Return to your quarters now and seek me out in the morning. Mm -hmm. When you return, Hi, make Bao. sure that you have all you will need, for you will face your test. <gasps> Go, and may the Force serve you well. <laughs> Bye, HK! <laughs> HK just takes off. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, did he... <gasps> did he take the sword? I mean, I kind of expected it, but... Um, let's see. He did. I think he he took he took the sword. I guess it's a good thing I didn't want it. <laughs> Tee. -hee. You don't remember how this goes, but you remember thinking Thar had an interesting backstory. I think, yeah. I think I'll probably go with the with the backstabbing way, because it, if nothing else, it like not necessarily. I guess it's the backstabbing way it makes me think it's very Sith like in a lot of ways, but um. It is to a Jedi's advantage to, uh, I don't know, work with somebody else to take down a strong Sith and then potentially know the weakness of the Sith put in power who is probably weaker than their previous master, you know? So, that makes sense from a Jedi point of view, but it's, it's very Slytherin of me. Also, this has to be weird, I keep thinking, um... Like, since I know now who I am, or who I was, anyway. Like, this has got to be so weird. And I guess you could make a good argument for, like, at this point, like, wanting to maybe take over the Sith. Like, even if you've been good this whole time or something. And right, yeah, as I said, you'd be removing a rival and in the process gain power and influence, yeah. But, like, if I was if I was doing this the Sith way, I think I'd, I'd let him know about Uthara and then, like, gain its trust, you know? Uh, I guess I don't need that on anymore. Reflex save... Fortitude. Immunity to mind affecting. Sure. Put that on. Well... I don't really know of anything I need to be doing right now. I mean, I could... I could... 
could go back. Oh, well. I'd have to run back to the Ebon Hawk and put the new crystal in my sword, but what does it what does that even do? Crystal, crystal, crystal. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, interesting. Crystal Oh, I have two sigils. Produces a fiercely bright beam that sears on contact, inflicting great damage. Maybe I will go do that. I can't fast travel from here. I think I have to... Oh, I could talk to her, too, actually. What are you doing here? Go back to Uthar and okay. tell him you're ready to take your final test. Our moment is at hand. Go. Okay. But first, let me go back, because there's no workshop benches here. So I need to leave. I need to go straight and then right. <gasps> He's still there, the dead body. Oh my gosh. What did I do on the expedition? Oh, like, um, for archaeology? No, I said in the... In Discord that I wasn't able to go. Whoa. Uh, there were issues with paperwork that took me an entire week to resolve. And I spent the whole week being mega stressed out. Wow, okay, calm- what the heck, game? Now I'm stuck in a corner I'm not supposed to be in. Uh, dang it. <laughs> How did I get over here? Hang on. All right, let's just have all the freakouts right now. Oh, I see. Oh! Slaheron was confirmed being cut out early in development. Yeah. Hang on, let's see if I can... Nope. Um... Oh, good. Okay, there we go. Okay, I got out. I got out. Nice. Upgrade. I want to upgrade my double bladed lightsaber with a sigil, potentially. Wait, what? 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 Can I not? What? Oh. Oh, I already have a sigil crystal. Oh, this just changes the color. Uh, well, I guess what's the other one do? Uh, 1d6 special... Oh, dang! Attack bonus 1, this is damage, damage bonus energy 3, massive critical 2d6. Dang, 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 that's good. Um, bolt deflection plus 5, damage bonus energy 2. Damage bonus versus racial group, a droid, 1d6. So this is good against droids. You know what you could do, actually? Um, you could make different lightsabers. You could make specialized lightsabers. This is another one that fights against uh, droids. An alien frog? No! Lemon Z, I can't believe you do! As soon as somebody said alien frog, you said pain! Oh my gosh! You wound me! You wound me. You cannot believe. Why wouldn't I keep the Giska? They're not doing anything. They're just hopping around with their empty eye sockets. <laughs> uh, okay. Wait, no. Oh, calm down. Calm down. I don't want to do that one. I think I'll do... The Opelia crystal, and um, this just uh, maybe it's time for a change in color. Maybe I'll do blue. 
But let's do red, actually. Then I'll blend in. Oh, dang. Um, oh, dang. I can have uh, multiple crystals. Oh, dang. On hit property, stun. DC 10, 25% for two rounds. Oh, dang. A stun crystal. I only have one of those. I think I will. I, I don't. I don't see myself stunning a lot of things, but a DC ten's pretty low. A strong lightsaber. I'm. I hope it's a strong lightsaber. Hello, assassin. Mm, yeah, I'll keep the stun one. Wait, no. Oh, put it back. Where did what? Where did it go? Oh, I have three of those, actually. Never mind. Okay. Uh, these are all the droid one. The deflection bolt increase would be nice. Con produces a blade of unerring quickness. Since I don't seem to stun things a lot, I think I will try the bolt deflection, because that's really nice. Assemble. Assemble! I... Um... Sure. Maybe I'll make one for droids? Why not? I'll make the droid one blue. And I'll put in that crystal. And that crystal. And they're both... It's my droid lightsaber. I know, right? You rather get some memories back. Next thing she does is go to Sith Academy and make a red lightsaber. Karth is. Karth is like, <gasps> And I'd be a nerd. Revan's a good name. Did you just, like, think it was a cool sounding name? Or, or did you, like, had you heard it before? Um, I don't, let's see, um, mm -hmm, 1d6, maybe I'll just make this one like a powerhouse one that does like a ton of energy or a ton of damage and I'll make it purple. Nice. Okay. Well, well done, me. Who has this one? I don't think it says. So somebody has it. It's either Johnny or... What's his name? Also, I am... <laughs> I have never upgraded armor, pretty sure. And the range stuff, freaking almost never did any of that. You just like the sound? It's a good one. Jolie... Yeah, Jo- didn't I say Jo- what? Jolie and Johani, right? <sighs> Did I say it wrong? Okay, first I'm gonna talk to people- well, I'm gonna talk to, like, at least Kandra's. Yeah, what do you want? Um, oh, are you okay now? Your choice. Did I lose the chance to, like- Oh my gosh, look how, look how li oh, it's because I'm super light side. I'm like, Wah! I got like, I got like background energy. Um, Jolie, Candorous. Oh no, oh no. I'm worried. What Karth will do now is anyone's guess. Okay, well, I hope I can still talk or complete people's side quests. I'll be sad. Oh, hang on. Got something on your mind, do you? Uh, do you want to talk about the war now? Not particularly. There's no time like the present. Yes! I suppose you're going to nag me until I cough it up, aren't yep. you? Yep. Nothing is private anymore, it nope. looks like. Ugh. There's no escaping it, I guess. So be it. 
My wife's name was Nayama. She was the Yukatis enforcer who shot me out of the sky. Whoa, nice. Uh, no, I don't remember. <laughs> I actually don't. Ah, you got ears that work, don't you? I was a smuggler, way, way back. I got shot down once over Yukatis. That story, yes. What does your wife have to do with the war? My wife had plenty to do with the war. Upon meeting her, I knew right away that she was strong in the force. That's why she was able to shoot me down. Nayama was a marvel of a woman. Fiery, determined, smart. She dragged me to the capital and foiled three of my attempts to escape prison. Oh, and that oh baby. come on, with you, please. <laughs> I don't need to hear it. That story. Okay, maybe I, he didn't actually tell me this story. I, I'm getting that vibe <laughs> that he didn't actually tell me this story. <laughs> Well, yes, that. <clears throat> Needless to say, I eventually won her over. That was after I kidnapped her upon being broken out of the Yukata prison, mind you. But, uh, that's another uh, story entirely. Uh, anyway, I wanted to train her in the Jedi way. The Council refused my request, naturally. I was still a Also, Padawan. you've been arrested! I, I was an experienced Padawan, surely, but not yet ready to be a full Jedi, and certainly not ready to train another. Especially not one so old as my wife. Yeah, freaking 20-some-year-old, probably, lady. Too old! Um, so you disobeyed the council like I did. Did I disobey the council? I think I did, right? Like, as Revan, I disobeyed the council? To, uh, to go off into a land I wasn't supposed to? I did. I wasn't the first and I won't be the last. The problem with self-righteous folk is they think they're more right than everyone yeah. else. I believed in her and trained her in secret. I ignored her willful nature. I loved her too much to uh -oh. see fault in her. And she loved me too. I know she did. At the time, our love was a shared bliss. Better than anything I had known before or since. So what happened? Exar Kun is what happened. Nayama was oh, inspired no. by Exar's promises of a new golden age. She wanted to join him. She came to me, pleading with me to throw aside what she called the decrepit trappings of the Jedi, to join her in Exar's war. Mm, what did you do? Well, I guess you, you could ask if she had fallen to the dark side, and she hadn't. She just was, like, misguided. But that'll probably get more out of him. I hadn't thought so. Not right then. I was too proud to believe that of her. I had trained her myself. I loved her. I pleaded with her to reconsider, to think about all that she was throwing away, to think about what she would become. She would have none of it. Oh my Finally, gosh! Frustration. She attacked. That that me. what? She drew her lightsaber and attempted to strike me down. What? It was a scene being repeated everywhere throughout the galaxy, pupil against master. In my case, it was a long and terrible battle, but I defeated her. Oh no! Like that's just. Like, for one thing, though, like, lady, calm down. Like, you don't need to attack your spouse because you disagree, even on something as fundamental as this. Yeah. The Mandalorian War. It would be cool to, like, be able to, like, um, experience those, but it also, I think, does leave open, like, a lot of ripe stories, you know, where, like, like people who make games or books or whatever or movies can be like, oh, yes, this happened in the Mandalorian Wars and nobody can say otherwise. <laughs> you killed her. No, no. Yeah, I, I figured. I at my mercy, disarmed and defenseless. She looked up at me and she knew. She knew I couldn't do it. No divorce, only murder. <laughs> no throw, only take. No or no take, only throw. <laughs> um, sounds familiar. It seems like the Jedi don't like killing their helpless enemies. Not that I would know. But I should have. Sometimes I convince myself otherwise, but it's no use. She had fallen to the dark side when she raised her saber against me, and I let her go. To my shame, she went on to kill many Jedi during the war, until she herself was slain in the final battle. I grieved for her death, inevitable as it was, even as the Jedi Council put me on trial for my actions once the war was over. Of course they did. They had nothing better to do than make examples of people. 
I had trained Nayama against their wishes. I had failed to kill her when I had the chance, and she went on to kill others. Not to mention that I had remained a Padawan throughout the war. A formality, perhaps, but with a trial, it had to be decided if I was worthy to become a Jedi at all. It was a travesty, of course. I told you that even the Jedi were capable of great injustices, didn't I? The Jedi are always very merciful. I agree with you. They destroyed my mind, after all. Mm. But I deserve to be tried. They found me. What? Even, even though I deserved every punishment and more, they let me go. Mitigating circumstances, they said. I deserve Wow, compassion. the Jedi are they crazy. Said. They said I had learned wisdom the hard way. For all I had done during the war, they wished to raise me to full Jedi status and long last. That, that was when the Jedi left me. That was when they failed me. Interesting. I mean, the Jedi, they, I feel like they're very roundabout in a lot of ways. Oh, hi, Grammy! Oh, it's just, well, and they freaking, they put him on trial, like, but they wouldn't have wanted him to kill his wife, apparently, because they didn't even kill Revan when they had the chance, you know? Like, but at the same time, like, maybe the Jedi are, like, too compassionate, you know? Like, like, she went on to kill a lot more people and it's just like what what i don't know it seems like the jedi more than anything they want to avoid conflict even at the cost of like justice almost you know i don't understand no maybe you don't at that they may have been able to forgive me i could never forgive myself and you still believe love is worth the risk I, yes, I do, I suppose. Does that surprise you? Uh, it is all so long ago, lost in the winds, I suppose. Nobody cares what an old man believes anymore, do they? Let's continue on with the task at hand. I would prefer to think of the present today. Let's see. He's been, Jolie's been through a lot, like, wow. Was whacked in the dark side. I ultimately abandoned the order for not holding him responsible for her actions as he had himself. You might be able to ask him more about his past later once you've gained more experience. Got something on your mind, do? Mmm. Okay. Oh, I get it. Let's play with the old man's head. Is it? He's half seen. Oh my gosh. He'll forget I said anything. Wait. Well, uh, what was this about anyway? Jolie, you're a national treasure. Don't let anybody tell you differently. All right. And I think I needed to talk to Johanny. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? I was wondering if we could talk. What is it you would like? No, never mind. Of course. I feel like I'm cutting it real close on some of these people. Let's see if Karth has anything to say. Yes, what's on your mind? Uh, never mind. You got Bye. it. Bye. All right. Karth is up in the air. I'm not really sure if we're done with Karth. Um, Joey, we still have to talk to. And Candorous, I thought we still had stuff to say, but he's not acting like it anymore, so I don't know. Oh, bummer. Okay. Well, I can't I can't really take these guys with me, but and I hope you all enjoyed the video. It may or may not be kind of an awkward cutoff. Um there was very limited editing. I guess that's important to say. I should have said that at the intro. There was very limited editing on these videos. So, anyway, thank you all for putting up with me. I appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one.